Today we're going to be talking about finding determinants. And you find determinants of only square matrices, where the number of columns is going to equal the number of rows. So when you're finding matrix of a 2 by 2, you take what we call the main diagonal, AD, and you multiply those two numbers together. You subtract from that the other diagonal, BC. So for in our first example, you did 4 times 6, which is 24, minus 3 times 5, which is a negative 15, and that's how we got 39. So the determinant here for this one, 6 times 0, minus the other diagonal, 4 times by a negative 1, that's going to simplify to be a positive 4. Now for a 3 by 3 matrix, and I want you to write down these steps, you rewrite the first two columns to the right of the determinant. You draw the diagonals beginning with the upper left hand, or what I call the main diagonal, and multiplying each element in the diagonal, and then you do the other diagonal, you find those two sums, and then you subtract the first, the main, you subtract the second sum, I should say, from the first one, the main diagonal. Okay, an example of a three by three matrix. Write out your matrix. Okay, and then you rewrite the first two columns next to the last column. So you rewrite 3, 2, 1, and negative 2, negative 1, and 2. Now what you have to do now is you have to find the product of the main diagonal. That product is going to be a positive 9. And continue on and add all of these values together. So 2 times 0 times 1 is a 0. And then I add those numbers together, and we have a negative 4. So you find that value, which is 5. Now find your other diagonal. That diagonal, which is going to be 1, the next diagonal we add to that 0. The next diagonal is going to be a 12. So that adds to be 13. Now you have to do 5 minus 13 to get us negative 8. And now I'm going to show you guys how to check this on your calculator. I'm going to show you guys how to do that first example using your calculator so you can check your work. I still want you to be able to do it by hand, but this is also a good way for you guys to check on your calculator. And here in this area, this key press history, make sure you guys pay attention to the um, history because that's the steps you're going to write. Now you're doing matrices. So look on your calculator, where do you see the matrices function? Matrices function is second and then x to the negative 1. Now you want to arrow over to edit because we need to edit these matrices. Edit matrix A. You have to put in its dimensions. It is a 3 by 3 matrices. And then make sure below that it looks like what we have. Okay, now it's just a matter of entering the values. And you, when you, whenever you press enter, it moves over to the right. Make sure a negative sign you use as the negative sign, not the minus sign.
Okay, now that I've inputted the values, do a quick check to make sure you put them in right. Now go back to your home screen. Second matrix again. This is how matrix is in blue, and the second key brings that up. We want to do some math for matrices. So math, DET stands for determinant. Determinant of matrix A. So again, you go to second matrix. Under names, if you press enter, that's how you cut and paste the name of A in there. Press enter again, and negative eight, which is we got, which is what we got for the example when we did it on the slides. Our next example, if you're given three vertices, any three vertices of a triangle in a plane, you can find the area of that triangle by taking one half the value of our determinant of a matrix. Now, because you can only find area of square matrices, what you have to do, you have to put in the points A, B, and your third column is always one. So doing this example up here, rewriting your columns, Find your main diagonal, which is going to be a negative 4 plus a negative 6 plus another negative 6. So we get negative 16. Finding the other diagonals, negative 2, positive 8. And I'm multiplying all the numbers together, just so you guys realize that. And a 9. And so there, we get a positive 15. Now remember, you have to do negative 16 minus 15, which works out to be a negative 31. And then, since area is positive, we take essentially the absolute value of that. So we take 31 and we divide it in half, so our area is 15.5 square units. Okay, this example. A surveying crew located three points on a map that form the vertices of a triangular area. A coordinate grid in which one unit equals 10 miles is placed over the map so the vertices are located at those points. Use the determinant to find the area of the triangle. So again, we lay out 0, negative 1. The last column is 1, negative 2, negative 6, and 1, and 3, negative 2, and 1. Now, rewrite the first column. Okay, find your main diagonal. That's 0. Minus 3. Plus 4. The other diagonal. Negative 18. 0. and a 2. That's going to simplify to 16, negative 16. Now make sure you're careful on this. You want to do 1 minus a negative 16. That's going to get me 17. So we have a value of 17 over 2, which is 8.5. Because remember, you have to do 1 half the determinant to get your area. And I have a little note here. I'll go through this example also on the calculator. Now finding our surveying one, second matrix. You want to edit A, which is our 
one, it's a three by three. Now put in the numbers. We had zero, negative one, one. And you could just go through and type over those previous numbers. And I sure hope you're doing this along with me so that you're used to the buttons that you're pressing. Now do a quick check. That's right. So now I go back to my home screen. Again, how I bring up this determinant A. Second, x to the negative 1. We want to do some math with our determinant. We want to cut and paste A. So you go to second matrix again, name of A. Close your parenthesis, press enter. Now remember, we had to divide, we had to multiply by one half. So divide that by two, press enter, and that's the answer that we got when we did it in the, on the slides. There are your lesson questions. Please make sure you do these by hand and then you can check them on your calculator.